So, um, man, still a lot to unpack. First thing. You said this was a six-hour show today, right? Or yeah, this is a six-hour show. We're going to know everything about you, dude. With your son, do you see any entrepreneurial tendencies, and are you pushing him into doing that when you say he has a lot of growing up to do in the next three years? Yeah. I mean, generally, I feel like when we're affluent, our kids don't have as much stress in their life. That's true. <laughs> that is true. And for as much as, and you know, I struggle with this too, is when I grew up, we didn't have, in hindsight, we didn't have much, but I didn't know it at the time. Cause that's exactly. what you know, right? I didn't, it was, we were never hungry. We always had a roof over our head. We had, I had loving parents, all those things. Right. But when I look back now, it was like, you know, just getting by for sure. Right. And now I don't have to work anymore. I mean, I don't say that from a place of ego, but and I love what I, I'm able to focus on what I what I love to do. Right. And yep. my, my son doesn't want for anything, but we struggle with that. Um, we struggle with that lesson of like, how do you I mean, I guess the things that I care most about are character and work ethic. There are a couple of things that I feel like if you have a good character, you try to do right by people. You try to always do the right thing. You make good decisions and you work hard like you can figure the rest out from, from my perspective. And so character, he'll be fine. Work ethic, you know, we'll see. <laughs> it's difficult because, you know, it's just a different world now. Like I don't, we travel a lot. We've gotten to do a lot of things. Appreciate that as much as you want. I don't know, maybe in no. time we'll find out, but probably not, you know. I mean, not, not in the moment, right? Because right. at least for me, I didn't have any clarity because like we, we didn't, my parents start doing, didn't start doing okay in their businesses until I was in like high school. But then I didn't have any clarity of like, Hey, yeah, like our life is pretty good. We don't struggle that much until I got to college and my best friends like, yeah, growing up, we had to turn on the oven to heat our house. Yeah. You know, like you're, you're until your kids, I just think until they get perspective and like they're exposed to that, it's a completely different world and yeah. they don't really know. Right. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And so, you know, I think time will tell. I, he, he, my son is entrepreneurial. He's money motivated. So I think he'll, he'll be an need. entrepreneur. But, you know, he started to ask recently, like, hey, can I do some work for you? And I was like, you know, uh, he's done some little things here and there. Like, uh -huh. you know, but I think he needs to work for somebody else first because, you know, I think he needs that experience of letting somebody else down that's not his parents or being told, like, point. Why did you do this? Get maybe getting fired, you know, just to like yeah. learn some lessons because, um, you know, we, we'd be too soft on them probably. Exactly. That that's a really good point. Yeah, I just think I've got so many entrepreneurs around me. We all just need to hire each other's kids. And like, you go work for him. <laughs> you go work for him. It's funny because actually we were. I was with my uh, uh, a guy named Kevin, who you'll meet. He's an investor fuel, but Kevin's rehabbed hundreds of houses for me. He's a great guy. Become one of my best friends, and he's a. Uh, uh, really was my contractor for a long, long time. Still is. Um, but I have an unusual relationship with my contractor. It didn't start that way, but it, after 14 years, that's where we're at. And uh, we were at a hockey game because we have season tickets uh, side by side with Kevin. And my son was there. Oh, yeah. He said, Kevin, he calls him Mr. Kevin. Mr. Kevin, can I, uh, can I come work for you this summer? And right when I heard that, I was like, you know, my son is not a contractor. He's not a He's, you know, he's not, I'd, I'd like to see that basically, you know, and uh, Kevin's like, well, how are you going to get there? He's like, I'm not going to drive across town. We live in DFW. There's 8 million people. I'm not going to drive across town and deliver you to a job. And then Kevin was saying, well, if you have a hardship, maybe you can get your driver's license early. And I looked at Kevin, I was like, my son's never had a hardship in his life. You know, <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's true. But it's an interesting time to be a parent. I think, I think it's, it'd be a weird time to be a kid. I mean, if you grew up when you and yeah. I grew up, like it's a different time right now for sure. You know? Oh, for sure.